And then also, of course, Christine says, get on a plane and go to, you know, Paris. That doesn't hurt either, of course. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, if we're going to be reunited, it might as well happen in Paris. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I know. When that happens, I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> sign me up. But no, you have been very open about your journey, you know, you like in your struggles. And I know that was like a big part of why you guys broke up before Kevin, like, you know, and you just, I think it was your six year anniversary you just celebrated for sobriety. Like, did that ever get, you know, challenged or, you know, again, like you're not in the public eye, then, you know, look, life changes, right? When you're on a hit TV show of any network overnight, you know, like, did that make it harder just being in the public eye? And like, you know, I live in New York, I'm in LA all the time. It is fast paced. And, you know, or was that, you know, just from being on the show, was it like, wow, there's a lot of outside influences coming at me? No, totally it did. And, and that made me miss Devon even more because I would have loved to have had this with her. I don't, I didn't want it to be I didn't want this with a fan, which is all you get. You get fan DM. You know, I learned very quickly, even dating in the public eye, when people meet you, they, they have intentions and it's usually out of stardom more than anything. Or uh, even if they don't know you, they start to fall in love with the idea more than me. And it made me feel more sad to be here. You know what I mean? Like, and be like, wow. I'm actually succeeding in what I want to do, but you know, the one person that I committed to doing this with isn't here. Um, and and yeah, you you see the ugly side of people, very um, not honest, even you know, like uh, in that sense. So I, I find that to be yeah, it was much harder. Um, and so then I even before I started talking to Devon again, I actually committed to myself to like not date, not to do anything, not to go out, nothing. Cause I was like, I'm just tired of the, um, that, that, that life here, you know, I'd have to go to the middle of America or middle of nowhere to be able to find peace with that. And, um, but you know, I didn't have to, which is great. Yeah. It's funny because, um, you know, it was just a passing thought, um, when I knew that the show was taken off and, you know, in my heart, I, I was kind of just like wish Kevin well, but I'm like, damn, it's going to be. I'd be curious to see who Kevin will be ending up with. I hope he finds a good girl, you know, because like it, it takes a lot to understand who he is. He's very, he's got a lot of layers, you know, he may appear a certain way, but you know, he, um, he's a very loving person at heart. He really is. And uh, he just, like I said, I told Christine once and I was like, you know, Kevin just is the type that just loves being in love, you know? And yeah. he seeks that everywhere, kind of desperately too at some point. Oh my God, it wasn't. <laughs> <sighs> but it's cute, it's cute. It's, it's like, in a way it's like kind of charming, you know? Um, it's endearing. It's, like, it's endearing, yes, yes. So um, yeah, to, to be with Kevin, I feel like you can't, you have to look past a lot of this. You know, you have to know his struggles to really understand who he really is. This guy has a lot to give. And, you know, it's it's just not worth it if if at this point, you know, people are just gonna see him as eye candy. Oh, and I've seen people, I mean, I do have a lot to give and I, I didn't realize how much until the show aired and then, a lot of people took advantage of that, actually, which I didn't really care for. And it was the, like the people I least expected, you know, it actually came from the wealthiest of wealth. Mm. You know, they complain about, oh, people who aren't wealthy, you take advantage of the wealthy. I was like, eh, maybe you should look at yourself, man. Like, took advantage of me. Yeah. Guys, girls. Guys, girls, whatever. How so? Just for like fame and notoriety and like starting. Notoriety right. that led them to more notoriety right. than they had no not notoriety giving. before. Kevin's very giving. Yeah. And he's hot. So, you know, it's like, <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Where Listen, those are not bad qualities to have. <laughs> Where are you guys? I mean, do you speak to Kane? And we saw you guys, you know, we have the friendship watch. We saw you guys start I'll in a bad place. Afterwards. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's tough because it's you know, a lot happens in between seasons. Like we haven't filmed for a while. 
Um, but life keeps going and it keeps getting lifey. And yeah, he unfollowed me. And um, it's a shame because it was, it shouldn't hurt, but it was, it's a clear symbol of we're not friends anymore. You know, he'll pass by us and he won't say hi. He'll just be really loving towards Devon though. Yeah. He loves me, just not Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still have the Jacob? I mean, I have a Jacob watch. It ain't no joke. So even, you know, high end, low end, there ain't no such thing as a low end Jacob watch. Do you still have the Jacob watch? I do. I do. And to be real, like, it doesn't feel as good wearing it. But, you know, I, I'm a man of my word. Like, I'm not going to sell it, you know, like Kane thinks I'm going to do. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a peer reminder of what our friendship could be or would be if uh, he could just get out of his own way, man. It's just, I think it is it's like, it's all these expectations we have on each other to be a certain way, to be a certain way loyal. You don't realize that people don't want to be felt like you're in control. You know what I mean? And like, my last thing I want to do is um, just because you gave me a watch to feel like I owe you something, which is what I felt like in the fine print, he didn't tell me, you know? It sounds like you're close to Christine and that yeah, there's no fine print with Christine. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, let's do this. Great. Oh, let's do that. Great. Uh, let's do this. By the way, he, she never forgets her credit card anywhere, you know, <laughs> like Kane does or something or, or, or my other friends even sometimes, you know, and it's, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome because I think Christine understands me in the point of like, look, I don't have the same wealth as everybody else I'm building. And I'd love to be able to be in that position to give back. Um, and to be able to mentor other people and to be like, hey, come out to dinner. We're going to a five-star restaurant. But don't worry about it. It's not me taking advantage. It's me getting the experience so I can give it back. And I think the people who feel like, oh, you're going to take advantage of me or the like, and, and, and because I bought you a dinner, I'm like, I think it's because you have no intention of giving it back. You know what I mean? Like if you yeah. do, you understand that people in higher positions see it as a mentorship thing that you will give it back Well, that's the plan you know and I, i'm fully understanding of it and i'm starting to do it even now like i just uh had dinner with some friends and some people who are still working in their, their life even people who are more successful and i still i pick it up because it's within my reach like what well, was only like a 50 dollar check you know but it was like <laughs> you you <laughs> You picked up a good one. Yeah, picked up a good one. But it's like, my thing is I do it where I can, but I'm not going to be irresponsible to impress my rich friends, you know, that I can mm. pay for this and stuff. And by the way, struggle for paying the bills. We don't even have a car yet. Yeah. Do you guys talk to Anna Shea at all? I mean, assume, I'm assuming no. No, she's hard to reach. Like she, I, I shouldn't air too much of her business, but she, she had a hip surgery. She was in a lot of pain you know, in, in the last year or two. And I think she's not in pain anymore, which is great. But, you know, I just don't really talk to her that much because there's only so much, I feel a little uncomfortable if she gifts me, especially now I have a girlfriend because I'm like, um, if we come together, I don't want you to have to do it for both of us. And then if she did <laughs> do it for just me, I'd be like, what, what, what about the Like, I want to just avoid that situation, you know? I don't know. I'm still like, maybe I have, I mean, that's very humble and nice of you. I'm just like, I see like the Gucci and, and the Gucci suitcase and the Dior sneakers. Right. And I'm like, if you don't want it, Kevin, <laughs> here I am here. I think it Paris is, and it is nice to have, but like, to be real, yeah. like all my nice things that I have have been, you know, fortunately given as a gift um, except for my TV. I now have a flat screen TV. I know Kevin doesn't years. have doesn't have to buy anything anymore. Yeah, well, which I, friends to give him stuff. But it allows me to actually have a one bedroom now while I'm still building my life here. 